at Papa Pig Farm. I am just enjoying the beauty of my one sunflower, actually two, but the other one's over in a little bit different area. Um, it's over in my other little bee garden. And oh my goodness, I just love them. So we're gonna do a little walk through the garden tonight because I haven't done a garden tour in a while and I haven't really shown what's producing. So first, let me say, it's not really a garden, it's jungle. It's, it's, not, it's not a garden tour, it's a jungle tour because this is completely a jungle. A lot of this back here is weeds, but I can't get behind here because I put this too close and the tomatoes are all going over. So, whoops. And then my bean, I had rows on either side, like walkways on either side of the beans. And that's not existent anymore. The tomatoes are going absolutely berserk, but none of them are changing colors yet. I haven't seen any that are changing colors and there's so many that are still like ready to go or you know going to be coming after these ones even these are just loaded and yes i have tons of blight <gasps> i lied i lied i lied <gasps> that's blushing that's the first one i've seen oh i'm so excited maybe then i'll find one that's actually ripe <laughs> My blight is so bad. My tomatoes are just falling over. I tried tying them up this when I came through to pick beans and clearly didn't do a great job. My beans are going crazy, which is kind of always the case. Look at all these. These are all paste tomatoes. I'm gonna have lots. I haven't even really like walked through and gone around these tomatoes recently. On the outside, they probably need to be tied up and pruned and everything, but as usual, kind of got away from me. So I came out here the other day to pick, and I noticed mm, I had like hundreds of wax beans that I didn't even realize I had. It had been so rainy, I haven't been able to get out here and pick, so I didn't realize I had all these beans. But the nice thing was I was able to pick a bunch and sell some at the market because I don't have a whole lot of time to process them right now. I'm hoping to kind of get on top of things again um, and get time. But for now, I'll sell them and eat them fresh. These two right here almost look like they're going to start. They're kind of blushing a little bit. It's hard to tell, but they are. They do look like they're changing colors. I tied a lot of this up the other day. I didn't tie any of that up. I was just going crazy. My cattle panels are bowing. Put a few too many tomatoes on there. My cucamelons are really starting to come up to the vines. This is the tallest one so far. I haven't seen any flowers on them yet. So we'll see. I don't even know if my cucumber plant, I don't even think I have a cucumber plant over here anymore. And I think that was a silver slicer. But this tomato plant kind of took over. And I probably shouldn't have let it. Holy moly. Oh, you know what? This is why they're all falling over. We had an insane storm come through last night. Insane wind, like crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. I set that one up, but I think it might've broke. Maybe it didn't, maybe somehow it didn't break. But we had an insane, insane storm come through and the wind was just crazy. And that's why these are all over. Oh. I'm gonna have to get out here tomorrow and tie them up. I don't have time tonight because I have soap going. I'm gonna try to pick some of these up at least. After I say I'm not going to tie them up, what do I do? Tie them up. I got to do these ones too, but these ones can wait a little bit if I need to. I'm going to go check my soap temperature and make sure that it's not ready to, to spin off or to mix, I mean.
those plants right there are so tall. I mean, they're probably seven feet tall if they stand up straight, but they're not standing up straight. My garden is just, you know, I tell myself every year I'm not gonna do this, that I'm not gonna plant things too close. And every year I do it. There's watermelons in here, there's beans in here. I shouldn't have even planted the beans. There's this gigantic tomato plant that I think I'm just gonna pull out because it's not even producing. It's just giant. I mean, it goes from like right here all the way over there. Cucumber plants are doing good on on these ones. Um, they're not, nothing started yet. They've, obviously you can see the blossoms. And some little baby cucumbers right behind that. Oops. Baby cucumbers, but nothing. Oh, there's a watermelon. It's exciting. The watermelon has also decided to take up this vine or this uh, paddle panel. So I'm sure there's more watermelon in there. Granted, I can't, probably can't find them. Oh my goodness, why do I do this to myself? And then weeds have gotten out of control. Not so much my fault, more due to excessive rain. This is a tomato plant my daughter decided to plant. It was one that was left. And she decided to plant it and it's growing. <laughs> These are Kajari melons. I don't think there's any. No, there's none on this side. And I was going to plant this, but no. These potato beetles. I still have not been able to get a total control of them. Oh my goodness. And then this is my squash jungle. There's beans along the back, but I can't really get to them. These are all winter squashes though, and pumpkins and things, and they, so they don't really need my attention, thankfully. Here's my potato patch, as well as gigantic weeds. Um, these are starting to die back, so I think I'm gonna start harvesting soon. I'd rather harvest soon um, and kind of clear up the land for weed control, but also to let the squash go and to help get rid of these these bugs. So I'll probably pull them up soon. My zucchini plants are over here and they're doing really well. I've harvested quite a few. We ate some for dinner. I haven't checked my pepper plants recently. Okay, and look at this gigantic, gigantic uh, cabbage. But it's also ravaged with beetles or pests. Let's see. Oh, there's a pepper, there's a couple peppers. Sweet. I never get sweet peppers. Other than I can do the sweet bananas. Those I seem to be able to grow. Everything else, not so much. I can see blossoms on a lot of these. Oh, there's a pepper. Oh, there's a bunch of peppers on that one. Let's see, what is that one? Mini bell mix. Ooh, I'm excited to see those. Those are gonna turn different colors. Lots of those. Here's the sweet bananas that I need to pick. And I need a pickle. Gotta be doing that. These are sweet bananas as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's some little cucumbers started. Yay, these are my bush cucumbers. <laughs> exciting. My red rockets are doing good. Oh, I've got a bright red one. Pick that one. That beauty. Whoops. I'm, I'm dropping it. <gasps> oh, oh! Cucumber! These are small like pickling cucumber. A bush pickling cucumber. So that's a good one. It'll be for the kids lunch tomorrow if I don't eat it first. Jalapenos are still going absolute berserk. I'm probably gonna pick a bunch and make cowboy candy. <sighs> one of these years, one of these years I will learn not to plant everything so ridiculously close. Corn's doing good. Tassels are, are doing good. Uh, looks like I've got about two ears per corn, or per, per stalk. Oh my gosh, these got blown over by the wind too last night. It was insane. I'll have to come around and tie these up, but I gotta get in and get my soap mixed. 
Carrots are almost done. I've obviously still got some that had flowered. Um, I need to get them picked. The peas are about done here. There's some still at the end, um, but though I'm gonna pick them soon and clear this area out and then I will plant more peas for the fall. This whole row is also empty. It's meant to be, um, it was beets and rutabagas and things and now it's meant to be herbs. I just haven't gotten them out here. I have herbs started. There's a nice sav Savoy cabbage. And beans that I planted, kind of a second wind of. There's some, there's some, they're all over here. Onions are getting taken over by the tomatoes. Holy cauliflower that I didn't even realize I had. Oh my goodness, it's like totally disgusting and ruined. But it was a beautiful cauliflower, look how big that is. <gasps> Oh, I'm so mad. I didn't even realize they were doing anything. I've been watching. But then I kind of stopped for a bit because they weren't doing anything. This one I'm going to pick. Oh, that's all yucky too. Too much rain. Ugh. Pick those and put them in the compost. Cabbages are also splitting the red cabbages. Splitting wide open. This year. So the theme of my garden this year is jungle. Pure jungle. It's producing though. It's producing pretty well. So I'll take it. I don't really care how much of a jungle it is. Oh, I love this time of the evening. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today in this jungle walk and mess of a garden and everything else. Remember guys, we're going today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one. Mm -hmm.